In Creo Parametric 10.0, you can now create additive manufacturing cell lattices with either rhombic dodecahedrons or elongated dodecahedrons. Before I jump into the demonstration, let me pause to explain to you what the heck these kinds of dodecahedrons are. First off, a dodecahedron is a kind of polyhedron. A polyhedron is a solid shape with multiple surfaces or flat planar faces. Dodeca means 12, so a dodecahedron is a solid with 12 faces, but that means it also has 14 vertices and 24 edges. And there are the two different kinds of dodecahedron lattices that you can create in Creole Parametric 10.0. One is a rhombic dodecahedron. And rhombic means that it has a quadrilateral face, in other words, a face with four edges, and all four edges or all four sides of that face have the same length. And there are some nice things about a rhombic dodecahedron. For one thing, they are stackable. That's why you can make structures out of them. And when you create a rhombic dodecahedron, there is a diamond option. And I'll show you that in the demonstration. With the diamond option, you get a lot of strength, but it has fewer beams. The other kind of dodecahedron is an elongated one. Again, I'll show that in the demonstration. For both the rhombic and elongated, you have a distortion parameter, which allows you to randomize the locations of the nodes. And the reason why dodecahedron lattices are so important is that they are used in the biomedical industry, in devices, implants, and materials. Okay, so now that you know what a dodecahedron is, let's jump into the demonstration. I've got a model of a protective helmet on my screen. I want to add a protective lining, so I've created a, another body in this part. Let me take the first body and I will hide it, and here's where I want to put in a lattice structure. So to create my lattice, I will go to the engineering overflow menu. Here is the lattice command. And let me collapse my navigator, just give more screen for showing you the structure that will be created. I'm going to replace this entire body with the lattice. Let me jump over to the cell type. And so this is one of the new cell types over here. This is the rhombic dodecahedron. And the other new one is this one, which is the elongated dodecahedron. Let me select this type, the rhombic one. And there you can see a preview of the structure. But I want to make this small enough to fit into the body that I'm using. Let me go to the cell fill tab to start off with. Here's the diamond structure option. I will use that in a moment. I'm going to make the cross section size smaller. Let's use a value of 0.05 for this model. And that ball diameter is going to be absolutely ginormous. Let's make that one smaller. Let's make that a value of 0.1. And you do have the option to remove the ball uh, entirely from the structure. Let me go back to the cell type tab and make the cell size smaller. I'm going to use a value of 1 instead of 3. Let me change them and it is recomputing as I am changing them. And you'll notice that there are two other different parameters here. There's the skewing angle, which is also this control. You have the skewing angle in many of the different cell shapes. Here's distortion. I will show that at the end of this demonstration. Okay, so now that I've got everything configured in here for the rhombic dodecahedron, let me hit the check mark in order to generate it. We'll see what the structure looks like. Okay, it generated. Let me pan the model over and rotate it. And so you can see what the structure looks like. It's a very regularly shaped structure, so that is good. Let me go back to my model tree and find that lattice feature in the part. And I will edit definition. Okay, let's go back to the cell fill tab. I'm going to choose for the dangling beams. Let's remove those. And for the second one I'll show you, we're doing the 
rhombic dodecahedron with the diamond structure. If you take a look at the preview, you can see that a bunch of the different beams in the structure went away. Let me go to the cell type and I'm going to make the size of the cells a little bit smaller. Let me just change those. And now that everything has been updated, I will hit the check mark and let's give it a few seconds to generate. Okay, and so now we have the diamond structure. You can see that we have fewer beams than we did before. Very interesting how when you rotate it and look straight on at some of the different directions. Okay, so now that we have that, let me select it and then edit to definition. And I will go to the cell type tab. Now we'll change from this dodecahedron with the rhombic shape. By the way, diamond is a subtype of rhombic. Let me go to the elongated one. And let me change the cell size. I'm going to make it even smaller this time. And in a moment, I will change the distortion parameter after we take a look at this. And from the cell fill tab, everything else here looks good. So let's hit the check mark and take a look at the elongated dodecahedron structure. All right, so there you can see what it looks like. Hopefully I'm not rotating too quickly for you to see the structure of it. So now let's really get funky with this and change the distortion. So let me click on the lattice and then edit definition. And I'm just moving so that you can see the structure over here for the elongated dodecahedron. Okay, so this is what it looks like normally. Let's go to cell type and I'm going to change the distortion, which will randomize the location of the nodes. So let's try a value of 0.1 and I'll hit the enter key and let's see how it changes the structure. So it looks quite different this time. Let's hit the check mark in order to let this generate. All right, and so there you can see it. Does look more organic in shape with the distortion applied to it. And if that's not funky enough, hey, let's try changing that one more time. Let's edit definition. And once again, I'll move up so we can zoom in onto the structure. Let's go to the cell type tab. And this time I'm going to change the distortion to a value of 0.5. And now it's really, really different in there. So let's hit the check mark and see what we get. All right. Wow. Look at that. That is a. Uh kind of messy doesn't don't you think so anyhow that's how you can create the new kinds of dodecahedrons as cell types in additive manufacturing in creole parametric 10.0